Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel and I am very excited to announce that I am going to start a new series on my YouTube channel that is about making a news application uh, using Flutter and this application will be compatible with Android, iOS, web, Dex and desktop. Uh, in, and in the desktop I will be covering the and, uh, Windows and the Mac OS platforms. So let's get started and this is the introduction you know episode where i will tell you that what we are going to learn in the upcoming videos so you guys can be prepared to consume the content and be ready to you know uh, watch the series so uh, let's get started so first of all we will be building a news application that will fetch the latest news from the newsapi.org website and uh, show it inside our project and secondly we will be making it responsive so for example our application will this uh, using the same code will be running on android ios and also the uh, website and the uh, windows uh, you know we have the wider screen on windows and web and also we have a narrow screen on android and ios so we will need to make the ui responsive as well and thirdly uh, as i told you before that this application will be running on android ios web and mac os and fourth uh, on the fourth uh, number you you know that we will be build, uh, generating the builds for this application uh, on uh, for publishing it on google play and publishing our website and also publishing the ios application so we will be covering all those steps as well so uh, let's let's discuss all these steps that we are going to learn in in this you know slide so particularly you will be learning how to enable the web support uh, and also how to enable the flutter desktop support for particularly windows and mac os and secondly you will be learning what is J json and also how to use the newsapi.org website to fetch the latest news from uh, there using their api in the json format and also we will be learning how to create the responsive ui and fourthly uh, fifthly we are going to learn how to use the external libraries uh, to make our uh, application uh, using the pub.dev website and also uh, we are going to learn how, how to choose a perfect you know library and how to make sure that it is compatible with all the platform that we are going to target and uh and and al along the way we are going to learn a, lo uh, a lot more in in terms of you know we are going to learn a few more videos that i have not covered them uh, so far on my website and along the way i will need your support in this process so for example uh you can support me by liking my videos that i will be publishing and secondly you can comment on each video that you are watching and these two things i think play a huge role in promoting the video on youtube so for example if you will like the video and if you will comment on the video then youtube will automatically boost that video and bring more views and subscribers to the community that we are building and that way i will you know get some support from your side as well and thirdly you can you can share this video with your friends you can share uh, you can tell your friend that uh, we are going to start in uh, making a new application on our youtube channel next you will be uh, wondering how to uh, how i will share my code with you guys so you you can go ahead and uh, get the source code on github i will be sharing the uh, repository link in each video description so you will be able to click on it and download and clone the source code and play with it so that you can practice it along the way and next uh, these are the uh, sources where you can contact me for example uh, my email is written and also the discord channel is written, uh, mentioned and also the youtube and also the google play so if you have any questions and comments or if you want to share your valuable feedback with me you can comment below and you know i will try to uh, make it best for you and also let me know that if you are going to follow this uh, along and going to make your own product as well so that's it from uh, uh, this video and in the next video i'm going to show you how to enable the windows port for your flutter projects so uh, stay tuned and let's meet in the next video take care and allah hafiz